guten morgen so right in the beginning on the inside cover you find a useful map of germany and its surrounding countries so in the west you have for example niederlande niederlande bay bay if you are belgian or belgium luxembourg or luxembourg frankreich then you have italian slovenian österreich <coughs> croatian ungarn slovish republic czechish republic and the huge country of poland poland in the east in north you have sweden and denmark okay so so and in the northwest you have the nordsee and in the northeast you have the ostsee can you see that the two oceans nordsee and ostsee okay i have told you about the code given on the copyright page yeah have you seen that code uh, and it says that you can download audio data uh, audio files uh, but also you can have access to other material using that code i'll just give you an uh, give you a, an orientation in the even the contents page with the contents page if you come then um, you have lesson wise contents given under five uh, bullet points the first is sprach handlungen sprach handlungen sprache yeah sprach handlungen handlung is any uh, is any action that you can do okay handlung uh, so <clears throat> what are the uh, language things or language acts that you can perform after having done this lesson so it says grüßen und verabschieden grüßen to greet guten morgen guten tag hallo wie geht's verabschieden auf wiedersehen tschüss to say goodbye verabschieden is to say goodbye so grüßen und verabschieden sich und andere vorstellen vorstellen is to introduce sich is self and andere is others to be able to introduce self and others sich und andere vorstellen über sich und andere sprechen to speak about oneself and others das ist mein freund mein freund heißt suresh er kommt aus uh, bhopal and etc so to speak about someone and to speak about oneself über sich und andere sprechen zahlen bis 20 Number C twenty, telephone number and email address. Nenen, nenen is to name. To nenen means to name in the sense to say to say aloud. In this case, but nenen can also be um, the way we use um, the verb to call in English. You know. we call it uh whatever we call it uh, dosa you might call it something else okay so that calling something something is also nenen buchstabieren spelling that means obviously the alphabet is there über länder und sprachen sprechen hmm yeah that is if you come to that <clears throat> in lesson 1 on page 15 seite 15 seite 15 14 und 15 yeah we have done it very briefly in the beginning different countries languages we have not done but i'm i'm sure you can manage because the options are given in a box 
on top on page 15 <coughs> and if you can't manage it we can come back and we can do it in class but I think you should be able to manage. So that's the that's lesson that's the uh, portion covered in lesson 1 okay. <coughs> Word charts. The second bullet point is word charts. Word charts is vocabulary. I mean, these these are these points are also important for you to understand what they are. Sprachhandlungen or Sprachhandlung means the the speech acts or the language acts that you can perform. Then word charts means vocabulary. So the minimum that you should know in terms of vocabulary after lesson one. That's the minimum huh, for an E grade. Zahlen von eins bis zwanzig. Und Länder und Sprachen. Then the grammar. Wehfragen. Wehfrage. I think we have done that. W questions. Wehfrage. Aussagesatz. Satz is a sentence. Der Satz, die Sätze is a sentence. Aussagesatz. Sagen is to say. Aussagen is to state. So a statement is an Aussagesatz, okay, a statement, a question and a statement. Frage, uh, das ist eine Frage, ist ein question und Aussagesatz is a statement. <coughs> Verben und Personalpronomen, yeah, Verben und Personalpronomen. I think just yesterday we did one last revision of the basic uh, Verb conjugation, yeah, verb conjugation with all the uh, pronouns. First person, second person, third person, singular and plural. Okay, this is. <clears throat> then Aussprache, Aussprache. See, the word Sprache is coming out, coming uh, so many times. Aussprache is pronunciation. Aussprache. In terms of Pronunciation, you should know the basic sounds of the alphabet. Okay. Then a very important term, Landeskunde. Kunde, Kunde means um, something that you find out, knowledge. Okay. So Landeskunde is information about the country, knowledge about the country, Landeskunde. Again, different countries and languages, Länder und Sprachen. There is also a film that goes with the textbook. I, I, we have the videos, uh, the DVDs, which we will screen the film. At some point in time, we will start screening the film. So every lesson has a small video and it is like a story that develops over the 12 lessons. Okay. Yeah, so if you notice all the, uh, the contents page, the contents of a lesson will be given in this form under these bullet points, so to say. So can you can you see that we have covered lesson one in terms of what is given in the contents we have covered them there might be odd exercises that you might not understand or there might be one or two new expressions that might come in uh, which of course you should be able to use this and resolve okay so um, if you come to page number four capital Eins Guten Tag. Der Anzug, die Anzüge. The first word that is given is Der Anzug, die Anzüge. So you can see there is the gender given and the plural. Then the next one is Der Apfelstrudel. Der Apfelstrudel. What is an Apfelstrudel? Apple pie. Apple strudel or apple pie. A comma and a dash. What does that mean? Af that the plural also is the same word. There is no change. Only the der will change to d. Okay, d upfish through d. The autobahn, comma dash en means the autobahnen is the plural. What is an autobahn? Highway. A highway. Bulgarish Bulgarian. Das buta brot. Das buta brot. Yeah, written but a basic sandwich, thus butter brot, comma dash e, the butter broter sandwiches. Okay. If you come down to um, thus Würstchen, thus Würstchen, there is an there is a dot under 
u umlaut which means the, that's where the accent of the word is thus würstchen further down zu ordnen zu ordnen andere kennen sammeln if you come to lesson 2 in the textbook back to the textbook lesson 2 or maybe we can just have a look at the workbook as well before we go to lesson 2 for example let's take the very first exercise on page 6 the the word for page the word for page is <clears throat> Die Seite, die Seiten. Seite also is connected with side, okay, the side of a paper. Die Seite, die Seiten. <clears throat> so, if I want to say open the book to page 6, I would simply say Seite 6, bitte. Yeah? Seite 6. So, Arbeitsbuch, Arbeitsbuch, sure. workbook, Arbeitsbuch, Seite 6, bitte. Arbeitsbuch. Seite 6, Übung 1, Übung 1, Guten Tag, Deutsch International, Deutsch International, welche deutschen Wörter gibt es in ihrer Muttersprache, Muttersprache, ja, welche deutschen Wörter gibt es, don't translate, if we can understand, we, if there is something, the, some word is not clear, you can ask. Okay. If you are following the text, standard procedure now, standard operating procedure, if you are following the text as we are reading it or as we are talking, I will, we will of course slow it down as much as possible. But if you are following the text, unless you stumble across a word which completely destroys your understanding or uh, uh, blocks your understanding, just let it go. Okay, do not translate or do not actively translate. At some point, I know that translation happens in our mind, but do not actively translate. Okay, if something is really problematic, if you get blocked at some point, then of course, put up your hand, take the mic and ask the question. Okay, so Deutsch International, welche deutschen Wörter gibt es in ihrer Muttersprache? Gibt es means, it is a standard phrase, are there. Okay, uh, in Ihrer Muttersprache, schreiben Sie. First instruction to you, schreiben Sie. Schreiben? schreiben. Right, scribe, schreiben Sie. Zum Beispiel, another very uh, important expression in class like Seite is also zum Beispiel, zum Beispiel, standard expression for, for example, zum Beispiel, Beispiel is an example, zum Beispiel, <coughs> auf Englisch, auf Englisch uh, haben wir, haben wir das Wort Kindergarten, 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 what is Kindergarten? KG, KG is Kindergarten, okay, Kindergarten, ist ein deutsches Wort. Kindergarten, das Wort Kindergarten ist Deutsch. Ja? Also, äh, Deutsch ist eine internationale Sprache. Ja? Es, gibt, es gibt viele deutsche Wörter, there are many German words, viele deutsche Wörter in anderen Sprachen, in anderen Sprachen, yeah, in other languages. Okay. So, um, do you know any other German words in English? I mean, we have to take, unfortunately, our common mother tongue as English. <coughs> what a tragedy. But anyway, um, yeah. Autobahn. Autobahn, okay. German words in English. In which sense the color? The color brown? No, the color brown spelling is different. Zeitgeist, yeah, good. Zeitgeist. 
Also wir haben Autobahn, Kindergarten, Autobahn, Zeitgeist, ja? Zugzwang? Uh, it's a German word, yeah. Zugzwang, meaning? Okay, Zugzwang. I didn't know Zugzwang. Existed in English. Okay, Zugzwang. Other German words? In Schadenfreude, yeah. Schadenfreude, Zeitgeist, Autobahn, Schadenfreude, Kindergarten. Yeah, I think we have like brown, then you could add beer also. But there is different spellings. German is different spelling, English is different spelling, although the words sound the same. Mm, yeah, okay. Just so that we don't forget, der Kindergarten, die Autobahn, der Zeitgeist, der Zugzwang, die Schadenfreude. Was, was bedeuten diese Wörter? Was bedeuten? Was bedeutet das? Was bedeuten diese Wörter? Was bedeutet das? Was bedeuten diese Wörter? Bedeutet? Bedeuten? To mean. What is the meaning of? What does this mean? What means that? What, what we are asking is what means this or what means that? Was bedeutet das? Or was bedeuten diese Wörter? These words? Kindergarten? Yeah, we know what kindergarten is. Autobahn, yeah, is auto, is a car, auto, und Bahn. Bahn is any kind of a track. That's a Bahn. Okay. For example, <coughs> the the railway. The railway is also a track. No, the railway is also a track. That track is made of. That track is made of. Iron, steel. Okay. So the German word for the railway actually is the Eisenbahn. Eisenbahn. Eisen is iron in German. Okay. Eisenbahn. The Autobahn. What do you have? What do you have on 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 the on a road? You have. No, vehicles you have, yes, but vehicles are in India, they are never driving in specific lanes. 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 So, uh, to drive is to, is far in. So, far barn. Far barn is a lane, is a track in which you are supposed to drive. In India, far barn is a lake in which you are not supposed, is a lane in which you are not supposed to drive. Okay. So, <clears throat> um, Eisenbahn, Autobahn, Fahrbahn, the Autobahn, their Zeitgeist, their Zeitgeist. What is the Yaris Zeit? Yeah, so Zeit, 
time, the zeit is time, geist, spirit, zeitgeist, spirit of the time, okay, zeitgeist, zugzwang, yeah, zwang, is it a word from chess to pin? Yeah, I understand. So, you have only one move left, <coughs> only one move which left leads to a mate. Yeah. yeah. Zug zwang. Okay. Uh, zwang in German, zwang is uh, coercion. Forcing someone to do something is zwang. Okay. And zug, zug is basically, it comes from also ziehen which means to, can also mean to move. So, Zug Zwang could be you are coerced, you are forced to make a move, okay, Zug Zwang. And of course, the Schadenfreude. So, you can also have a wonderful Zug Zwang, Schadenfreude. Schadenfreude from others, yeah, deriving happiness from others, misery or failure. Schaden, der Schaden in German means harm or damage, der Schaden. Freude is joy, happiness. So, in a sense, uh, what is it, what is the other term for that too? Sadism, yeah, but it is not exactly sadism, but it is, yeah, something similar that you, uh, maybe it is a little milder than sadism, you are just happy that somebody has got a D for once, schadenfreude, yeah, okay. So, we can go back to, then, uh, Übung 2, Übung 2, was sagen die Leute, what are the people saying, die Leute, ergänzen sie, first one instruction to you was schreiben sie, right, next one is ergänzen sie, I mentioned ergänzen yesterday, to fill in, to fill in, yeah, to fill in the blanks, to complete the sentences, ergänzen sie, then 2b, 2b, Ordnen Sie die Dialoge und hören Sie zur Kontrolle. Lesen Sie dann. Ordnen Sie. Ordnen Sie? Order. Match the following. I mean, basically, yeah. Uh, put it in, sorry, put it in order. Uh, and then, hören Sie. Hören Sie zur Kontrolle. Kontrolle in German, basically, more than control, it means to check. To check. So, you can. There are of course audio CDs in the workbook as well. So you can you can create the dialogue by numbering the sentences and to check whether you are correct or not, you can listen to the audio which is there in the CD. Zwei C Schreiben Sie eigene Dialoge wie in Aufgabe 2 B. Aufgabe. Auf Aufgabe, standard expression or standard word for uh, task. So, task to be, as in task to be. Write, please write, schreiben Sie, eigene Dialoge, own dialogues, eigene, own dialogues. We in Aufgabe 2b, as in task to be. Zerschneiden Sie die Dialoge. Zerschneiden. Once you write the dialogue on a piece of paper, then cut it up. Zerschneiden. And give those strips to your partner, and the partner has to put together dialogue again. Okay, so it's an activity you can do with somebody. I mean, we don't have, unfortunately, the class, the classroom uh, design itself is not conducive to people working together. It's a, it's a very serious matter. It's a very serious matter in terms of what kind of pedagogical vision we have. The pedagogical vision we have is everyone for himself or herself, not coming together. 
that's why all of you in a completely silly kind of a thing are facing me in one dire unidirectional classrooms are are very very um, problematic and actually not conducive to learning but that is the way we are that's the way we have that's the way we have been trained to um, to acquire our knowledge okay so a uh, a much more i mean if you see a, a typical classroom where people come together to learn you would probably have four or five smaller tables around which you would have again four or five chairs and it would be randomly distributed in uh, either a rectangular room or a need not be a rectangular room either you can have several combinations but probably a square rect or a rectangular room but uh, where then you would have you know um, five groups of six people each sitting randomly and <coughs> looking at a text or listening to something or whatever and then the teacher actually becomes a facilitator who can randomly go between these groups and just see that learning is happening that's all but uh, sorry this uh, detour is perhaps unnecessary but then the problem becomes uh, an exercise like this where you can actually work together with a partner you need to sit across the table with someone and talk to them and uh, but it's not mm, there in our system unfortunately so you, you can uh, you will find that that this kind of a thing has been attempted you know in uh, in the government schools in tamil nadu some 12 years 13 years ago they decided to have something called activity based learning as a model of pedagogy so over the next 5 6 years the entire orientation of a primary school classroom in tamil nadu government schools changed it was no longer this is a completely dumb structure what we have over here is a totally dumb structure that everybody is gazing in one direction at one person who is supposed to be the uh, fountain head of all knowledge and all sorts of rubbish but anyway that's the way it is uh, but that change in tamil nadu in the government schools uh, where instead of making children sit like this this they they made small small chaukis you know what chaukis are low tables chauki small small chaukis sometimes some made it round some made it rectangular but usually they were supposed to be round or rectangular chaukis uh, and so the desks went out okay benches went out low tables low chaukis mats or uh, uh, darris on which children sat on the floor and each table had four or five children sitting around it or maybe six children sitting around it okay and the teacher sat in one corner had a chair and sat in one corner and what the children had to do was given on a chart that you have to follow this process and reach this these milestones this week this is your milestone and the children did all the work by themselves and the teacher became a facilitator it actually happened it's not a fairy tale it actually happened in in government schools in tamil nadu and uh, this thing for example uh, in our kind of in the normal kind of a dumb setup the board is monopolized by the teacher i mean i can deign to say ki okay you come and write something on the board you come and write something on the board so the blackboard or the green board is monopolized by the teacher in those schools i mean if you go to any government school in tamil nadu go to primary classroom and you will find that the entire wall from the from the level of the floor up to 3 feet or 4 feet is painted black good black paint and each child has demarcated blackboard space the teacher doesn't have is doesn't have any monopoly over the blackboard the child also has her own blackboard on which she can write whatever she wants 
rub it off, she makes a mistake and so on and so forth. And every, if you go every um, demarcated space like this is full of children trying out numbers, this, that, it's completely full. It's so beautiful to see that they are doing it by themselves. Okay. So, um, yeah, this, <laughs> what prompted this was that exercise which said that, you know, sit with your partner and do this exercise, um, which is, um, yeah, it is, um, I hope we change, at si but given the size of our classes, probably we'll need a United Nations round table to have one class together. Anyway, but we have to, we are going to go through the workbook so that you can understand the instructions that are there, okay. So, Sir Schneiden is to cut and then your partner, your partner in order date. So, the partner can put in order. Again, you have Ergensen Z. Then you have Ordnen Z Tsu. Tsu Ordnen is matched the following. Ordnen, ordnen to put in order. Ordnen Tsu means order it to something. Match the following. Then, uh, Aufgabe 3. Was passt wo? Ordnen Sie zu. Was passt? Passen. Passen is to fit or to be uh, to be appropriate. What fits where? Okay, was passt wo? Match, match them. So, for example, Guten Abend. Guten Abend would be correct where? Gute Nacht. Auf Wiedersehen. Zex, Nummer Zex. Tschüss. Ja, fifth or sixth. Tschüss. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Eins. Uh, guten Abend. Guten Abend, probably four. What is Abend? And Kino? Yeah, so evening cinema, probably. Anyway, Z or a do? Ergensen Z. Z or a do? Formal or informal? No, no, that's okay. I mean, I'm just saying we are just trying to understand the questions right now, okay? Then, Nummer uh, drei, Aufgabe drei, day. Hören Sie und ordnen Sie die Dialoge den Bildern zu. Hören Sie. Und ordnen Sie zu, that zu is there at the end of the sentence. What, what do you match? Die Dialoge, den Bildern. Bild, Bilder, is picture. So, dialogues and pictures to match. But what you have to match is on the CD. You have to listen to it and match it. Okay. And then hören Sie noch einmal. Noch einmal. Very uh, important expression even in a classroom. Noch einmal bitte, noch einmal bitte, bitte is please. Once again, please, if I want you to repeat something, I would say noch einmal bitte. So, once again, noch einmal. Hören Sie noch einmal and then you have to decide formal Z or informal do. Kreuzen Sie an. Kreuzen Sie an, kreuzen basically means to cross the correct box. Okay. We tick a box. The Germans cross a box. Okay. Dann Aufgabe 4. Fragen und Antworten. Ordnen Sie zu. Questions and answers. Wie, wer, wo, woher. Ergänzen Sie. Dann Nummer C. 4C. Hören Sie die Fragen und schreiben Sie die Antworten. Hören Sie die Fragen. Das ist auf CD. Das ist eine CD. Und Schreiben Sie die Antworten. Ergänzen Sie die Tabelle. Ist klar? Next, nächste Seite, next page. Uh, Seite 10. Ordnen Sie zu. Notieren Sie. Notieren Sie. Note down. Make notes. Dann Ihre Daten. Your information, your personal information. Ihre Daten. Ergänzen Sie das Formular. 
complete the form. Aufgabe 5. Ergänzen Sie die Verben in der richtigen Form. Fill in the verbs in the right form, in the correct form. Schreiben Sie die Sätze und die Fragen richtig in die Tabelle. Dann uh, Aufgabe 5 C, Seite 11. Im Chat lesen Sie, wer ist das? Ergänzen Sie die Namen. Wer, the question where is who? W-E-R, where is who? Who is that? Who is this? Where is das? Fill in the names. And schreiben Sie die Fragen zu den Antworten. Write, write the questions to these answers. Lesen Sie und ergänzen Sie die Zahlen. Das ist auf Seite 12. Jetzt Seite 12. Kreuzen Sie an. Why don't you go through the remaining exercises and see if you can understand the task, what is to be done. Otherwise, ask. But before that, I have to introduce one small thing. This is preparation for the next lesson, for lesson 3. Okay, so uh, the, the vocabulary that will come in lesson 3 will be around the city. Okay, will be around the city. Uh, and <coughs> transport, for example. Okay, so die Stadt und die Verkehrsmittel. Verkehr is traffic or transport. Mittel is a medium, a means, means of transport. Okay, means of Verkehrsmittel. Die Stadt. Was, was sehen wir, was sehen wir in einer Stadt? What can we see in a city? Die Ampel. Die Ampel. Ja? Die Stra uh, Die Straße. Der Platz, der Platz is a square, der Platz, der Zebrastreifen, ist klar, der Zebrastreifen, der Bürgersteig, der Bürgersteig, Footpath, ja, der Park, der Bahnhof, der Bahnhof, ja, der Train Station, der Bahnhof, das Café, Das Geschäft or der Laden. Das Geschäft or der Laden. Both. What is that? A shop. Das Geschäft or der Laden is a shop. Der Supermarkt. Das Kino. Die Bank. Die Post. Die Schule. Das Hotel. Das Krankenhaus. Das Krankenhaus. Hospital. Krank in German is sick, K-R-A-N-K, krank. Krankenhaus is a hospital. Der Flughafen, ja, der Flughafen, das Stadion, das Stadion, das Restaurant, der Parkplatz, okay. Basically, there are a lot of words that you can easily recognize because the sounds are similar, the origins are common, etc. So, the Ampel, the Straße, der Platz, der Zebrastreifen, der Bürgersteig, der Park, der Bahnhof, das Café, das Geschäft oder der Laden, der Supermarkt, das Kino, die Bank, die Post, die Schule, das Hotel, das Krankenhaus, der Flughafen, das Stadion, Das Restaurant, der Parkplatz. Und wir haben hier die Verkehrsmittel, das Flugzeug, das Auto, der Zug, der Zug. The train, der Bus, die U-Bahn, die U-Bahn, the Metro, die an der U-Bahn. The Germans had what during the Second World War? U-Boats. So, those are the submarines. Yeah. U-Bahn is underground train, that is the metro. The Straßenbahn. Straßenbahn? Tram. Streetcar. Straßenbahn. 
das Fahrrad, das Moped, das Motorrad, der Reisebus, äh, äh, Touristbus, Reisebus, Reisen, remember our hobby, Reisen, Reisebus, der Lastwagen, Lastwagen, a truck, Lastwagen, der Hubschrauber, das Wohnmobil, Wohnmobil, like a caravan kind of thing. It's a caravan kind of thing. It's, it's not an ambulance. Wohn, wohnen, what is wohnen? To live. Yeah. It's what, what is it called? Uh, wohnmobil. In the, in, hmm? It's a vehicle in which you can live. Okay. <laughs> wohnmobil. Das Taxi, das Boot, die Fähre, die Fähre, die Fähre, the ferry, the ferry, die Fähre, das Schiff. So, um, and then we have some basic styles which are again from the textbook lesson 3 please go through that because our next class is only on probably next week we will we might have the last tuesday class uh, we are now coming to this thing on is the third week next week and we are also in lesson 3 okay so then once we streamline that once you start working with the workbook it's fine okay <coughs>